And what I'm going to show you today is cutting a stencil just out of paper. Let's say A4 sheet of paper. No special paper, photocopy paper is just fine. I'm using a paintbrush, but you could use a marker pen. And it's really about making decisions. What's going to be black, what's going to be white. I've even put a couple of dashes for sort of half tone. Black lines on a white background is pretty easy to cut out. White lines on a black background is the complete opposite, very hard. So what I'm going to do here is there's one little line that I wanted to keep. It's going to blue tack that little bit aside because in this demo I want to show you a little bit of everything. So it's important to have all the white bits touching so I'm making little bridges into the dark bits or you take it out completely. I'm going to do some straight lines here. What I would probably normally do is just one big black area but I want to show you some of the difficulties doing lines. It's not easy making a grey tone. In fact you probably should just try to avoid grey tones at all costs. So now you cut your stencil, you can keep it in a nice plastic sleeve like that. Uh, you can have a whole flip folder full of these ideas if you want, cut as many as you like. It uh, is quite an easy thing to print. Uh, I'm going to demo that now. I put down one sheet of paper, I lay my stencil down on top of that. I very carefully put the little white line, it's like a little island all to itself. Very carefully put the screen down and the ink is going to hold the stencil make it stick to the screen. Put it up very gently is the first print. It's that easy. I'll do a couple more prints. Now I'm going to very carefully peel the stencil off the screen. You can see the lines cross here are causing all sorts of havoc as they break up. And, but most of the skulls are okay. If you have a design that's bold enough and simple enough, you can reuse the stencil again and again. So that's probably why you want to avoid those lines. I suggest you make a few of these, keep them in a flip folder. Have a look at artists like Banksy, maybe even Shepard Ferry, and see how they handle the stark black and white. You see this sort of art in street art all the time. It's very much the same thing. It's stenciling, except it's a sharper image with screen printing. 